and welcome back. Today, we are gonna be jumping into yet another holiday beauty item. It is Sephora popping out with their holiday stuff already in September. They just decided to start really early this year. I don't know why, but I hope you guys are ready. It is their advent calendar, the one that I review every single year that never ceases to surprise us in how shall I put this politely? Um, disappoint us every year? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I review it every single year because you guys love to see this one unboxed. We always hope that there are gonna be changes. So far there really haven't been. So let's see what 2024 is bringing to us this year. Very important. I wanna mention that inflation apparently did not miss the advent calendars because this baby has jumped in price $5. All the previous Sephora advent calendars have been $45. This year it is 50. There is gonna be 24 items inside of it. And I mean, it's got a big sign here that says exclusive surprise on the last day. We shall see. Oh, and I'm gonna try something new when I am unboxing this. I'm gonna bring you guys really close and pull out the item. Let me know if you guys like it this way or if you like it the way I did it previous years where I just kinda hold it up and like, while you're looking at me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll test this out and we'll see how I like it. Please give me feedback. But let's get into it. Day number one. It has a mascara. It is a mini Love the Lift mascara in ultra black. Here's a look at the wand. So far, not a bad start. Let's go ahead and move on over to number two now, which looks like a little bit of a bigger item. So day number two looks like it is gonna be a mini cleanser. It is their Clean Skin Gel, a cleanse and tone for the face, eyes, and neck. And this is definitely a mini. It comes in at only 15 mil or half a fluid ounce. And it's just supposed to be a unscented clean version cleanser. Day number three, which looks like it's gonna be a scrunchie. New year, new scrunchie. This year's version is, um, what would you call this? Like a reflective silver <laughs> material? I don't know. This reminds me actually of my Halloween costume that I did last year. I was an alien and my dress was actually made out of this exact same type of material, this like, I don't even know, kind of like plasticky silver. <laughs> That's exactly what this reminds me of. Let's keep it moving though. Day number four. We got ourselves a new bottle of nail polish, but I do believe that they have updated their packaging here because normally we get that little egg shaped one. Hang on, I got it. Let me go grab it from the drawer. Got it. So this is what every single year's nail polish has looked like. It's like this little eggy kind of look. So it looks like they got a actual nail polish bottle this time around. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention the shade. It is 101 Clean White. Let's see, that was number four, so where's five? Looks like it is gonna be a mask of sorts, I think. This is the quenching and plumping effect one. It is watermelon extract, hydrating hyaluronic acid. All right, so we got one, one single sheet mask inside that day. Day number six, over here. It is another one of these single use pods. This is a bubble bath and shower gel in the scent. Ooh, I hope I get this right. Manoi? Now, on the one hand, I will admit that these do come in quite a bit of handy. I've used all of the ones that I've gotten in the past as a travel item. I know if you're just going over overnight for one day, like toss it in the bag. Easy peasy. But being one full day inside the advent calendar, still not a fan of. Just feels a little bit cheap. Like one full day is one day of body wash. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Day number seven. Which looks to be a lip liner. If you've seen any of these advent calendars in the past, you will know that this is a repeating item. This is their lip liner to go in the shade Classic Red. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a great lip liner. It's a great classic color. During the holiday time, that's usually when everybody pulls out their bold red lipstick, so I completely understand why they are putting it inside of the advent calendar, but it would be nice if they kind of switched this up a little bit because it gets a little bit boring, I think. Where's day eight? Aha! Oh, a pack of wipes. 
This is a mini version of their aloe vera cleansing wipes. It comes with 10 wipes inside. They are plant derived. Number nine. <laughs> I was wondering when we were gonna get to this. It looks like it is our classic stickers. But right here is what this year's version looks like. It does look like we got more stickers this year than previous ones though. We got some silver, we got some in white, some in blue. Definitely a use however you want kind of item here, but oh man, you guys know how I feel about this one. I am on the same page of this one as I am with the little pods of body wash. It feels a little bit cheap being one full day. It's definitely not my favorite. But unfortunately, I am not surprised that the stickers were in there because they're just consistently putting that in there. I don't know why. Anyways, that was nine. Time for number 10. It's gonna be another kind of mask. This time, however, we got their blackhead remover. It is their purifying charcoal nose strip. Day 11. What in the world? Am I, am I missing an entire day? Okay, I'm gonna have to email them and at the end of the video, just based off of like all the items I pull out, I'll be able to know what was supposed to be in there, what exactly I'm missing. But uh, yeah, um, 11's empty. Nothing we can do in the moment. Let's move on to number 12. Looks like it is gonna be another mask. But now we got ourselves an eye mask, the Anti-Dark Circles. It's got blueberry extract and anti-fatigue caffeine. So now as far as masks go, we've got an eye mask, full face mask and a pore strip. So three different kinds of masks. That was 12, 13. And it looks like we got a, another bottle of nail polish. This time, however, we got ourselves the top coat, which again, it has this new packaging. So I'm just gonna assume that they switched things up here and this definitely looks full size. Actually, this one looks bigger than the white one. You see that? Huh. But yeah, not much to this one. It's just gonna be a classic kind of top coat to your polish. Now we've got 14. And <laughs> number 14. Looks like we got our classic nail file. But oh, hold on, they switched it up a little bit. It looks like we got two instead of one this year. I don't know, did they listen to us and um, hear our complaints about getting one individual nail file? Now they gave us two. Sephora, sweetie, honey, <laughs> this is not exactly what we meant. Two instead of one. So this is the new design for this year. We got the stars on one side, the baby blue on the other, says Sephora. I always said I did not like that one single nail file was one day. They said, how about two? <laughs> That's so funny. Let's move on now to day number 15. It looks like it's supposed to be a large item. And it looks like it technically is, <laughs> but it looks like a mask. This time around, it is a foot mask. Their coconut version. Skincare socks infused with their formula. So okay, okay, I don't mind that. Day 16 now. I don't know what that is. It's a exfoliating shower mitt. I mean, this isn't a bad item. I actually buy the exfoliating mitts that they have at Target, so it's an item I use. 17. Looks like it is gonna be a little skincare. It is their Hyaluronic Acid Brightening Eye Cream. I don't actually know if this would be classified as a mini or a deluxe. This size is five milliliters. The online version that is their standard size has 20. Now we're on to 18. Just a couple more days left to go here. And it looks like this day, has some kind of makeup. We love to see it. This one is their waterproof 12 hour retractable eyeliner and it is in the shade matte brown. I think this is actually a very new product for this advent calendar. Usually every year we get a black eyeliner that is a mini. This one is full size and it is a brown shade. I like it. Getting a little switch up here. Time for number 19. Oh, really jam-packed in there. But it looks like another mask. 
But this time we got one lip mask. They're moisturizing and smoothing with cherry extract. So now we got a foot, full face, eye mask, nose strip, and a lip mask. I feel like it's a full works of all the masks you could do in one day. <laughs> Number 20. <gasps> we got some hair clips. I almost forgot that they put these in here. Again, this is another consistent kind of item that they include every single year. There's always a different version of a clip. So it looks like this is this year's version. But I mean, it does look like it's one of the ones that's supposed to be like a like gentle ones when you're doing your makeup. You pin it back and it's supposed to help kind of keep the shape of the hair so it's not ruining things. At least that's what I'm assuming these are supposed to be. But uh, yeah. This is this year's clip. 21 now. Like this day is giving us a little more skincare. And this is a different version of their hyaluronic acid one that they have. It is their all day hydrator, hydrate and glow. And again, not entirely sure what you would call this mini or a deluxe. This one has 10 mil of products. A full size that they sell has 50. Kind of thinking that it might be more of a deluxey, deluxey kind of size, but that's just what I'm assuming. Oh man, we only got three more days left. Let's get number 22 out. Has in store for us another bottle of nail polish. This is now our third one and it is the shade Berry Red. And again, this is the same size as the 101 Clean White we got. The top coat is still slightly bigger. Time for 23. I don't actually know what this is. It's an eye roller? What? Okay, so here's what it looks like. I was thinking it was like a spatula to like scoop out skincare from those pots, but it says it's an eye roller, so I'm guessing you hold it like this, and then this goes against the eye, just like boop, 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 something like that. And I also could see it being used as a little scooper. I mean, I might, I might use it for that multi-purpose. <laughs> Ooh, but now we're on the last day, which is the exclusive item. Ooh, what do you think they have behind this door? Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is totally new. This is their lip marker, a colored lip tint in the shade Make It Loud. Since it's the final item, why don't we go ahead and try it on their lips? Let me wipe this away, just because I'm super curious about this. This is completely new to the calendar. Okay, I think I got the lip color off. Let's now pop on the lip stain. There we have it, lip stain is on. It looks pretty good. I mean, it definitely still packs like a punch of color, which is nice. Now that we got all the products out though, I am gonna kind of try to peek in here to see if we can find missing number, I think it was 11. <gasps> I see it. Oh man. Okay, so it fell out of its slot and it's all the way down here where the corners connect. Can I fish it? Oh, ah, there it goes. So our missing item for number 11 was actually a pair of slanted tweezers in this bright kind of, what would you call this? Like highlighter color, highlighter yellow? Well, at least we found it. So we got the, we got the missing item here. That now wraps up the entire Sephora advent calendar. Let's talk about some details with this one. So I did notice that this one does not say a determined value this year. I can't remember if they'd said it in the past. So I did a little calculation here and out of 24 items, I got prices for 14 items. The value I ended up being able to calculate was $108.58, which is not bad. We did double our initial price that we put into the calendar of $50. So if you're looking into this calendar strictly based off of value, it is actually there. But when it comes to my own personal opinion on this calendar, I gotta say that I feel like this calendar is a little bit overpriced, especially this year getting $5 more expensive when I look at my loot right in front of me, I look at it and I'm just kind of thinking like, I would have paid 25 to $30 for this calendar. I feel like that is the price point where this should be. 
It could be me being a little bit picky. I just, I've tried a lot of different advent calendars over the years, so I know that there are a lot of really good ones out there that are relatively within the same price point that kind of do just a little bit more, in my opinion. And uh, even cheaper ones, like the Target 12, 12 Days of Beauty, that one is really good. I don't know if it's gonna inflate in price this year. Every other year it has been $20. So if you're looking for an affordable kind of option, I would go for the Target over this one. Again, personal opinion on this calendar. Let me know what your guys' thoughts were on it. Is this a calendar you would actually pick up this year? Or are you, again, gonna pass on it? Either way, I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!